So I want Ivan to share about power evangelism. He has two powerful stories that I would like you guys to hear about a healing of his mom and how he prayed for his co-worker and what happened. Ivan, could you please share? Yeah, so about, uh, about like around two months ago, my oldest brother in the, on the side of Seattle, he uh, bought a house and uh, he asked us brothers to come and help him do concrete. And so my mom and my dad came from California because I guess we were all there. And so uh, I've, I've already known about the problem that my mom had. She had, uh, my mom, you have to understand that uh, I'm the last kid of the family. Uh, we have like about six brothers and three sisters, so nine of us. So my mom's very old and she, uh, her knee, no, you have to understand, like, her knee is worn out. And so when she walks, she walks like this because she has so much pain in, in her leg. And so I, I, knew, I knew about this problem. And, uh, and, and when my mom was there, I seen that she had this problem with her knee and stuff. And so, so I was thinking, oh, should I pray for her? Should I not pray for her? Should I pray for her? Should I not pray for her? You know, that, that was during the day. And, and that day, my mom was putting, you know, remedies like this leaves on her leg to, just to ease the pain. And I'm like, should I do it? Should I not? Should I do it? You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so during the day, I, I, didn't, I didn't pray for her. And uh, what happened is at my sister's house, we all met up. We all, it was all my brothers. Well, not all my brothers. Just the brothers that were there and the sisters, just the family. And we're around the, t we already ate the food, and we're just sitting around, and then, you know, just, like, I'm sitting down, and I'm debating, should I do it, or should I not? Should I do it? Yeah, the reason I'm, I'm telling you guys this is, is if we don't step out, we're not going to see the healings, the miracles, you know what I mean? And so, and so, I knew my mom had a lot of pain in, in, in her knee, I knew it, and so, I just kind of throw the question, I'm like, mom, do you... How, how, do you have pain in your leg? Mom's like, yeah, yeah, bullet, you know, this and this. And so I've told stories to my, uh, my brother's wife about how we go out, you know, we go pray for people, and we've seen God heal him about our mission trip in Guatemala, how, how we've seen God heal people. And so I look at, you know, when I throw up this question, Mom, Mom do you have pain? I already had in mind I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw myself on the bus, and I'm going to pray for her. You know, and this is, you have to understand, this is in front of everybody, okay? This isn't all your brothers, everybody's over there. And so I'm like, I'm just going to do it. And so once I, when, when I say that, my oldest, my, uh, my oldest brother's wife, she's like this. <laughs> like, meaning go for it. I'm like, that's it, I'm going to do it. So I'm like, mom, do you believe, do you believe that God can heal you right now? Well, you know, God can heal this and this. I'm like, Mom, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. And you're going to get up and test it. And we're going to go for it. You know, we're going to go for it. She's like, okay. So I'm, I come up here. I'm a, and this is in front of everybody. You know, this is in front of everybody. So I'm like, you know, in Jesus' name, I command this, this, this in her, in her knee. It, was, it wasn't long. It was about seven, eight seconds. And I'm like, okay, Mom, get up and test it. So she gets up. She's like, Fanka, nibble it. That... That's in Russian meaning, that's in, that's in Russian meaning, Ivan, there's no pain. And so literally. Come on, put your hands together for God. Literally. And I'm like, and I'm like, mom, mom, stop, stop. My mom, stop. Because you have to understand, my mom had knee pain and she also had back pain. I'm like, mom, stop. What else hurts? <laughs> She's like, my back or, or her neck or something. So I'm like, okay, we're not done yet. So I'm in Jesus' name, this, 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 this. Okay, now test it. It's gone. It's gone. So the, the whole reason I'm telling you guys this is, is if we Christians, we don't step out and we don't throw ourselves under the bus. Uh, I, I believe if, if, if like, you know, we saw the video of the man of God praying for a person. If that man of God, because we're, we're all men and women of God. Amen. And if we don't step out and, 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 and just release our faith, I believe my mom would still be in pain. Unless somebody else come and release that faith. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing. What a powerful story. Well, you know what I love about this? It didn't happen at the service. It happened at home. Because he cared for the pain that his mom had. And each one of us, we can do that. It doesn't have to be in church. It can be at home. Because like he said, we're all 
men and women of God. Amen. And Ivan, really shortly, I want to ask you to share one last story about your co-worker. It, it really, it's not my co-worker. It's actually the lady I worked, yes. I did a job for. So I do concrete. And so I did this job. It's a lady in Pasco. Uh, I, I did work for her and it, it's pretty much, it's kind of done. And then, you know, I was expecting, you know, when you do the work, you kind of want the, the finances, right? And so it was put off like about a week. And so I get a text message to put off longer and longer. And so, and then so she, she texts me and she's like, okay, Monday, come on Monday. So I come on Monday and you have to understand, Sunday we go out power evangelism. And then that's when we've seen the great things God's doing in the parks and stuff. So that Sunday, God did like 56 people got healed on that Sunday. Like through our different groups, through different groups. It wasn't just th through me. And so she comes on Monday. So she, I come there on Monday, right? And she's like, oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, you know, this is out of my character to do this. She's like, uh, I went to the doctors and the doctor diagnosed me with, with Crohn's disease. I'm like, oh, okay. And, and she's like, and I'm like, do you have pain in your body? And she's like, yeah. It's like my back hurts, my stomach, and my, my, my knee or leg, I don't, don't remember. I'm like, I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray for you. She's like, and she starts tearing up. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm going to pray for you, and I believe that God's going to take the pain away. Because, you know, people think that, you know, when you pray for them, you're going to remember them sometimes later, this or this. No, I'm, we release our faith right then and right there. Come you on, know? come on. Yes, put and your so, hands together for Jesus. And so we're standing in the sun. I'm like, let's go in the shade. <laughs> so we're standing in the shade. I'm like, so she had I guess she had pain in her stomach and her in her back so okay let's start with the back first so I placed my hand on her in Jesus name I command this 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 and this to leave and I'm like okay test it and she's like test it she's like what did you do <laughs> and she's like she's like I'm a Christian too she's like I go to this and this church she's like what did you do I'm like I'm like that's what I did you know I pretty much released my faith you know and because you have to understand faith and actions must go together that's why that's why we as christians we must step out we must it's a must if we don't step out and release our faith we're not going to see the healing and in, in the, in the thing that's going to happen so anyways i just released simply released my faith this and this and this in areas and literally the pain left her back left her stomach and oh her leg completely gone and she's like how long does it last for <laughs> and i'm like you know if you you keep believing because this is by faith you keep believing and she's like i she's like i i i gotta bring my son and this so so we come and she brings her son and her daughter and her, her his son has like uh in her hand kind of like some nerve thing i guess he was doing something i don't know her muscles were aching so i pray for him and it completely gone and then her uh daughter has some headaches and i pray for that it completely gone but is this this is this is at work literally uh going out trying to get my money <laughs> Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. It's powerful. Good stuff, Ivan. Thanks. Thank you. Would you please share a word of advice to people who might want to be used by God, but something is holding them back? Yeah, this is what's on my heart. We as Christians, we are waiting for God's sovereign will to heal. I really believe God in heaven is waiting for the sovereign will of man to have faith, to step out, and just to release it you know because because if we don't step out and we don't release God can't do his part because in the Bible there's already a prescription it's a it's a prayer of faith that heals the sick and we're as Christians we have to step out we have to release our faith and God will do his part and if we don't do that part God won't do that part and it's not a prayer of doubt it's a prayer of faith so if we Christians do our part, God will do his part. So that's my heart Thank for you, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ivan. Awesome. Thank you so much.